Well, we have seen flooding on both sides of Mobile Bay for two days now, and the water's still expected to rise. News 5's Dana Winter joins us live in Sarah Land tonight, taking a look at the current conditions there. Dana? Peter, people who live on this road say water is steadily creeping up to their homes. Take a look behind me right now. If you can see, there's still some water waking. We just had a truck drive back to uh, people going back to their house tonight here on Bayou Avenue, where we're at. You see water running across the road and into people's front yards. This aerial video is given to News 5 by our viewer, Chris Jesse. He says it was taken today in the same area near where we're at right now along Bayou Avenue and also on Dale Street. In the video, you see homes with material in front of the doors blocking water from getting in and trucks plowing through making waves and check out this video here. This just happened a little while ago in front of where we're standing right now. One man taking out his boat to try to get around. He tells us the water is up to his house and he's not seen it this high since Hurricane Katrina. We'll keep an eye on those rising water levels you see here. That's a pretty large truck attempting to make its way out of the flooded area and those people live right next to that mailbox you just saw. Make sure you've got our News 5 app downloaded so you get those weather alerts when we get them into our newsroom. Reporting live in Sarah Land tonight, I'm Dana Winter for WKRG News 5. Thanks, Dana. More flooding north of Sarah Land up in Satsuma. Chris Jesse sending us this bird's eye view in the red structures you see there. That is the roof of the Steel Creek Marina. It is almost completely submerged. Another area that we have been monitoring all week is the Tensaw River in Baldwin County. Both Upper and Lower Bryant's Landing are seeing high water, as is just about every other neighborhood near the river. So when will this water start to recede? All right, let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Ed Bloodsworth. Yeah, guys, it looks like it's going to take a while before these waters actually fall below flood stage. There are two main areas that we're really concerned in terms of a major flooding event. One of those where Dana was just reporting from, Bayou Sarah as Sarah Land. Now the river level is 6.9 feet. Major flood stage begins at 7.5 feet, and that's exactly where it's expected to reach starting late tomorrow evening after 8 p.m., continuing through Wednesday. There's also the Alabama River at Claiborne Dam. That has been running very high the last couple of days. We've been getting pictures out of that region and they're expected to see major flooding beginning late tomorrow, continuing all the way through the middle of next week as well. And when you look big picture wise, there are several areas under moderate flood stage right now through portions of Clark County and also uh, areas to the north near Choctaw County and also minor flooding in many of our Mississippi River counties, northern portions of Mobile County and near flood stage for areas in the Panhandle. So everyone running well above average.